This afternoon we approached Zek to give them what they didn't expect. We are not approaching Zek as MDC Alliance. We are approaching Zek as a new organization. So they kept on insisting that, look, we know you as MDC Alliance. They said, but who are you to tell us who we are? We are a new organization. Anybody launches their party anytime in terms of the laws of this country. So for that reason, we are coming as a new entity with a new leadership, with new values, new structures. Alas, they wouldn't have it. We want MDC Alliance. Tell us that you are rebranding. We are not rebranding. If you know MDC as a brand, please join with those whom we have given MDC Alliance. We are a new party. Nothing to do with the past, nothing to do with the yesterday. We are starting afresh. We will build from ground zero. We will start afresh. We will defeat them like we did in 2018. We will start afresh. Yes. They wouldn't take it. They had meetings after meetings with our senior leadership. We have given them our new logo. We have given them our new name. We have given them our new leadership. We have given them our new trust, except our new strategy. But everything else, we have given them in terms of the dictates of the law. So we are expecting them to cooperate. We are even ready with our new candidates. They recalled our old candidates, but we have come up with new candidates. Some of them were in the previous organization, but they are new. Newly born. So thank you for bearing with us. We have wanted to start right on time. Because punctuality is a characteristic and an ideal of serious revolutionaries. So once we say three o'clock, we have to start at three. I want to apologize on that account. We couldn't come here without that response. But after all is said and done, they said, fine, we have now received your letter and we want to see your constitution. Is that the constitution we have? It's a brilliantly written document. It will help you to understand who we are. So we have new everything, new headquarters, new name, new constitution, a new mindset, a new trust, and of course a new focus and a new philosophy. The philosophy being to focus on the citizen, making sure that we replace the citizen in all the discourses that we have seen, eliminating the citizen. So that the citizen is back to the center. The citizen is responsible for decision-making, policy-making. Every decision must be centered on the citizen. That is where we are going. Where you have politicians taking over, we want the citizen to come back so that we displace politicians and replace them with the citizen. That is who we are. So behold the new. The new is upon us. And the new I deliver. We have always said that we are building the new. And we have now built it. It is here. It is there. And you are going to see. It. We keep moving forward. We have opened new doors. We have listened to the people of Zimbabwe. This is not an easy decision. The people have told us, please leave the dirty past alone. Focus on building a new, fresh future. And I am the face of that future. I'm ready to lead the charge until such a time and point when then people say, we are giving the responsibility and honors to the other one. Our focus is to champion transformation on behalf of Zimbabweans. So our key thrust is to deliver the platform of transformation. We have said that there will be no confusion. We do not want any confusion. Those other people came after our name. They thought that they had taken MDC to we said, have it. They said that they had taken Tangera, we said, have it. They thought that they had taken our headquarters, we said, have the headquarters. They thought that they had taken MPs, we said, have those MPs. They thought that they had taken our finances, fine, share with Mr. Mnangagwa the bed 
But I can tell you that it's not a bed of roses. It's a bed of thorns. It's a matter of time. They've taken literally everything. But thank God we still have ourselves. So we've lost everything except ourselves. That's why we are building on the basis of ourselves. Nothing to do with the past. Nothing to do with any wrangles. If you want them, this alliance, as you have said, take it. If you want ourselves, tough luck. You can't have us. Because we are not purchasable. We cannot be sold. We are convinced that our conviction to bring change to Zimbabwe is unshakable, is indomitable. <laughs> so as I say, Zimbabwean citizens in Zimbabwe know who their leaders are. They know who their champions are. They know who champions their struggle, the struggle for better wages, the struggle for better salaries, the working class struggle in this country, student struggles in this country, women's rights struggles in this country. They know who stands for the citizen. They know who is the face of hope, the voice of hope in this country. Those in Zanupi have known it. That's why after stripping us naked, they still come to us. And we say, look, go to those who, am, who we have given the borrowed robes. They don't even believe those robes. They still want us, even naked. So because of that, we are very clear. We are charting a new course. And today represents that new dawn, a bright future, the start of a new trajectory in Zimbabwe. We are the gold standard. We are the reminder that it's possible for the sun to shine once more and once again in Zimbabwe. And it will shine. <laughs> yes, a new great Zimbabwe is being back. But as you know, even in the biblical times, whenever there is a new level of anointing, there has to be a new name. From Jacob to Israel. From Sarah to Sarah. So we are here. We are not just having a new name. We are also having a new entity and a new organization. And a new people. The leaders, you see, have been renewed. We have left the past. The vices and transgressions of the yesterday, we have left them. And we are saying, we represent for you hope, happiness, joy, freedom. Hope is what we stand for. And hope is our other name. We represent ideas, solutions. The mosaic beauty of our Zimbabweanness. That's what we stand for. That is the vision we wish to usher into this country. A great new Zimbabwe vision, which we are going to share with the rest of the people. A vision that spells glory for our journalists, glory for our workers, glory for our civil society, glory for every citizen, glory for those who made us to care, including those in politics. But the beginning is to do with transformation. And our nation is only going to be transformed when we begin transforming ourselves from within. That is the process we've just begun. And it has to do with politics, our political culture, our manners, our values, our habits. Toxicity and negativity have destroyed the fabric of our country. We need to move away from that. And we'll transform in values, in norms, we'll transform also in how we approach things because we are transformers. We will transform lives in communities. We will transform lives in the country. And that is what we stand for. Because of that, let me say, because we are building the new, we are also in the process of building a solid A team. A team that cannot be defeated. In fact, 2023 is already a done deal. We have done it. That's why they are shaking, jumping from pillar to post. They know that the game is on and the A team is ready. Of course, there is a by-election. It's a side show. It's a side meal. But because we are people who are enjoying and waiting for the great, you know, feast who go for that side meal as an appetizer, as a starter. But never mistake the starter for the main meal. The main meal is in 2023, and we are ready.
Yes, we will share our vision, we will share our dream, we will build the momentum in the country. It's already there. The people have spoken. The people want change. I've listened to all veterans. I've listened to traditional leaders, chiefs, crow heads, headmen. They have told me. Farmers have told me. Business people have told me. We want a new game in town. Help us. Look at what is happening to our fellow Zimbabweans. Embarrassed and harassed in the neighboring countries. Zambia, South Africa, Botswana. We need to restore the dignity of our people. But that dignity is restored by having an organized institution. Away from the clutter and confusion that we have seen. And Mr. Mnangagwa, thank you. You have helped us to clean our basket. All the bad apples, you have taken them. Enjoy the meal. Thank you. <laughs> what is our central philosophy? As I conclude, the citizen back to the center. The liberation struggle was about the citizen. One man, one vote. The liberation struggle was about the sovereignty of the people. The decision of the people being allowed to take center stage. That's what the liberation struggle was all about. Umkwano umsawati, mwanawevu, son of the soil, was about the citizen. That is where we are going back. The politician has replaced the citizen. We want to remove the politician from the center of decision making, police making, law making, so that we have the citizen. The politician must be a servant, not the master. And the citizen must be the master, not the servant. <laughs> That's where we are going. It's not going to be easy. It takes a lot of sacrifice and pain by those who are used to the old ways. Of course, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But there are times when an old dog has to become new in their approach. And that's where we are from a leadership point of view. Citizens have to be a defender, as our ambassador. It's a citizen-based philosophy. That's why our party is restoring the dignity, integrity, the responsibility, the authority, the voice and dissent of our voters, the voice and dissent of our citizens. Citizens are the engines that turn the turbines of a nation. When you get citizens in the right mode, reconstruction becomes easy. And that's why we must listen to the citizen. And that's why the new outfit has a perfect and beautiful name. Beautiful to even have a meal with. Or for those like Blessing who like wine, to have a nice drink for it. The Citizen Coalition for Change. Once again, the new baby, the Citizen Coalition for Change. <laughs> we have left everything. Color red, take it. We have a new color in town. Gold, yellow. Hello, yellow. <laughs> we said, oh, you want a uh, chisa, mama, chisa. Fine, chisa, longe. We are focusing on the new. And we are going to introduce the new. We said we are number one in the country. We are number one in the country. That's why we have been fought. Because champions are fought by mediocrity. We are number one. This one. We are number one. I saw some people saying, oh, no, it's not a symbol. This is just how we greet each other. We are number one. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. It's a done deal. That is the direction. Of course, we'll unveil all the other things, programs, the necessary colors, and all the other values that we have to share. But it's a big change. It's an omnibus. Everybody. Come, let us listen together. Come and join this great movement, a citizen movement. Come and join this elephant and the giant of an organization. No more are we doing this or what, what? No, no, no. We have moved. It's part of our history. It's no longer part of the future. In fact, the MDC 
cannot be the government of this country. In our old self, in this current state or future state, the future is here. We represent the new government. You are looking at the new government. And we are ready to do it. Thank you, colleagues, members of the press. I'm so humbled by the number of journalists who have come. Thank you. And may God bless you. May God bless Zimbabwe. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for your patience. I appreciate. You have waited. We told you the baby is coming. You wanted to see the baby. So yes, citizen coalition for change. We are having citizens coming together. It's a citizen affair. It's a citizen endeavor. It's a citizen decision. It's a citizen way to say we want change in Zimbabwe. So farmers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Teachers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Lawyers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Accountants, we want to see what you are doing. Miners, we want to see what you are doing. Vendors, what are you doing? Workers, what are you doing? The church, what are you doing? Every Zimbabwean must be organized for change. Yes, the by-election will come. Like I said, it's a curtain raiser. It's very important to participate. That's why we said we are participating. To make sure that we also see what's happening. We test our systems. We also expose those who are biased. So yes, we want, we'll be checking on Zek. This time we will not allow Zek to play and join the other team. If they do so, they are setting this country in a motion that is irritable. I'm not threatening. I'm giving a promise. We will not repeat the mistakes of what we did. That way, after winning, you abuse us. After winning, Munangagwa has not won the election in this country. And you know it. That's why he had to be served in the courts. He did not get the mandate of the people. And because he has suffered from illegitimacy, that's why he cannot solve my problems in kind. They want to say, ah, oh, Munangagwa is the solution to this country. Give him a chance. We have given him a chance. He has squandered every chance. Oh, Munangagwa is good for business. Business is thinking and sinking because of Munangagwa. Oh, well, Munangagwa is open for business. He is shut for business. You have seen it. And we are ready to give you that key to the future. We are the door to the future. We are the way to the future. What? CCC. Citizen Convergence. Citizen Coalition for Change. Because we are converging all citizens. This is where we are. And I'm so happy for those who have come. Thank you very much. And I appreciate it. Any questions? Thank you very much. I'm going to take just a few questions. Just a few questions. As usual, may you kindly just identify yourself, give us your name, your media house, and one quick short question. Yes, sir. Uh, just money from uh, Prime Minister. Uh, is it the norm that when you submit a new name, they ask for the election of the system? Is it the same thing with or is it what happens to everyone else who wants to make it up to the Well, a, a constitution, I suppose. It's, it's not dead by the law. It's whims and caprices. But it's also panic. They were expecting us to come with MDC Alliance, to come with MDC, so and so. And then we are entangled in numerous and endless legal fights. We are no longer interested in that. We are a new baby. Thank you. So it's, it's not the norm. But I think it's being done because they are panicking. But we don't understand why Zek would panic on behalf of our opponent. Because our competitor is not Zek, it's Zanu. Yes, we know they share a Z, but please let it end there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've heard the president of the Citizens Coalition for Change. They are panicking. Yes. Um, yes, my name is Jacob Bissala, Museum HSP. Um, I, I just wanted to know that there are still MPs in Parliament okay. who, who, back, uh, who have been backing your leadership. Uh, one of them will just behind you. Now that you have changed. Uh, your party name, does that not affect this continually? 
<laughs> Certainly not. That's what we have told you. We have told you that we are putting the citizen back at the center. It is the citizens who voted the MPs who are in parliament. Nobody has the right to timber with the mandate of the citizen. If they so choose, so be it. And these MPs are not worried because they were chosen by the people and not by these pretenders, tricksters and deceivers. They were chosen by the people. So we are not going back. These are tough decisions and we are ready. Does a thief stop being a thief because there's a new police office? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, police <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> After a prolonged fight for the main thing, can we simply say that it is accepted to My dear brother, let me tell you. There was never a fight. So you constructed a fight in the Herald at ZBC. You constructed a fight at ZANPF headquarters with your Varakashi Twitter handlers. That's where you constructed that fight. There's never been a fight. But there's been confusion sponsored by the state. And thanks to Tokozani Kupe for telling us what has been happening behind the curtain. That there's been a honky dory affair between our colleagues, our SY colleagues, and Mr. Mnangagwa. And that, whatever has happened, is sponsored and coordinated. That's why for the first time you see a purportedly opposition person going to have tea at State House. Not that it's bad. If there's mutual respect, that's how the nation must go forward. No country is governed by one side. In fact, countries and governments are two sides the leading party and the alternative party. But the problem is that Mr. Mnangagwa has been trying to shoot at straws, creating his own government organized opposition. We don't have any problem here. People know the alternative. The opposition and the government are defined in a general election. In 2018, the people defined who should be in government. It is us. But they went to the court and switched sides and brought us into the opposition. We said, fine, we know that legitimacy is always going to buffet you. When you have a legitimacy problem, you can't solve potholes. When you have a legitimacy problem, you can't fix roads. When you have a legitimacy problem, you can't even fix the salaries of civil servants. Because you don't have the contract with the citizens. But if you give us just a week, Bruce, you'll be driving a beautiful car Caters of the new government. That is who we are. So there's never been a fight. Historical fights shall continue to be there where they belong. If you leave your house, Kusarako Adongo, but I no longer stay there. But But we have a new start. In any event, it is a share. Without us, there's nothing there. Look at it. You know, watch the space. I know. Most of the colleagues who are there, I know them. Their capacities. I worked with them. And I wish them well. Are you living behind that in the that one who won't, this is the Mkomana, so you can't leave. <laughs>
The young man is here. right step at the right time. You will see the leadership structure, you will see everything. For now, you are seeing the head. Don't ask for the neck. There can never be a head without a neck. So there is enough organ structure supporting this head. But we have just shown you the face. Now you are saying, no, we want to see where is your tail. We are a beast. That's going to fight for change in this country. We have shown you our face and the other organs you will see. This legs and the beast tail, everything. But now you are talking about infiltration. You know, nobody infiltrates an ineffective organization. What it shows is that we are we are we are a big game changer in this country. If you look at the money that has been spent on fighting us and destroying us, but guess what? We are still standing. We have withered the storm. You would build a new town or a new city just to divert the resources that have been deployed against us. They will continue to try and infiltrate. Any living organism can't live without infiltrating external virus or bacteria. But it is our inbuilt immune system that is going to save us. And that is born from the philosophy we have of the citizens, but also the conviction we have, the purity of the heart and the purity of our minds in terms of fighting for change in this country. We have not wavered. Some people say, have you abandoned Shangri's legacy? Far from it. Shangri's whispers are still very fresh in my ears. And that continues to be the inspiration as we go forward. It's not about the institution. It's about his hope for the future that we continue to carry. But of course, the past we bury. The future we construct. I hope I've answered you. Thank you. I think let's have three last ones. We have had a nice afternoon. Well, this is a very serious issue. I'm extremely concerned. We are extremely concerned. We are in the process, in fact, we have done a lot of further engagements at governmental level, at party level with the NC, to try, because it's the governing party in South Africa, to try and improve the understanding of our situation. The immigration crisis we see in the region is evidence and a demonstration, a manifestation of the sickness in one of the countries in the region. Zimbabwe is sick, and because Zimbabwe is sick, it caught a cold. The entire region is coughing. Let us fix Zimbabwe to have credible elections, to have proper reforms, to have a path to governance so that we pave way for a stable South Africa, for a stable Botswana. Zimbabweans would not spend a day any longer if their country is in good shape, if their country is fixed. But of course, it's also a clarion call to Zimbabweans in South Africa, in those neighboring countries, to say, look home. Let's deal with the problem. Let's face the challenge. Let's fix it. Come register to vote. That is the only solution. So yes, we will do whatever is necessary to use our diplomatic muscle, which we have in sufficient proportions and capacity, to engage the powers that be. To also understand that Zimbabweans are in a difficult situation. Inja one, Inja all. African solidarity and brotherhood is about looking at Africa as a continent. We believe that we are one Africa, never to be divided by colonial boundaries. Let's not be victims of colonialism. Let's look at the problem. One Africa, one people. If we are affected in Zimbabwe, we are affected as Africans.
We have the heart of Africa, and it's one heart. With the mind of Africa, it's one mind. Let's think as Africans, feel as Africans. Together, we'll be able to deal with our challenges. No outsider, no external support, but our own self. Together, none but ourselves as Africans. We believe in African solidarity. We believe in local solutions to local problems. Our continental issues are not far too big for us or a challenge not to be able to be solved. So my message is to say to Zimbabweans, we are doing everything. And the journey has just begun. Join the movement. You are a citizen. Join us. Join Yellow. Join God. We mean well. We mean the future. We mean a new dawn. Join us. I'm going to give one more question, so it's about time. We do it as best as this. I'll take that one question and then we'll close the session on this day. My name is Susan Mangamba. I'm from the industry. 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 The greatest resource in any human existence is being resourceful. And we are very resourceful. Our people are our resilience. The citizens are our resilience. They thought that they had taken everything. Guess what? The citizens are driving this. They are oiling this machinery. You saw, you know, I have not yet received that vehicle because I can't go and ask for something that has been given by citizens. But they bought a vehicle out of their own initiative, not being asked by the organization. That's the competence of our citizens. And they are going to do much more. They even said we are going to raise some money to make sure that you have money for the country. I said, look, we are not going to ask for it. But when you give it, thank you. That's what the citizen philosophy is all about. <laughs> but when you go to people in the, you may think that people in the rural areas don't know what they are doing. The reason why Zanpia panics like a snake when you go into the rural areas is because they know they have no support. Nobody beats up people who support them. Where there is love and affection, there is no violence. Violence is evidence of evaporated love. So, don't worry about people in the rural areas. They know the message. In fact, they are ahead of us. Gapin them Komana came from ordinary people. It's not even a party slogan. But it's a citizen initiative. They are saying Gapin them Komana. And most people think about this young man. No. Gapi Nemkoma is a symbolism of the people of Zimbabwe saying that this is the opportunity we have for change. When this young man gets in, our issues are resolved. They know our competences. They saw what we did in the inclusive government. We fixed the ICT problem right now. You know that you go everywhere with coverage, though we are still to do so much. We will do it. Give me a chance, Mr. Mnangagwa. One week you will see this country different. You will be the first beneficiary. <laughs> Thank you, fellow colleagues. May God bless you, and may God bless Zimbabwe and Africa. We love you. The journey begins. Shandukom <laughs> Zimbabwe! Shandu kom Zimbabwe. Shandu kom Zimbabwe. Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. A great new Zimbabwe. Thank you very much.